And welcome back to USC's only news radio talk show. My name's Conrad Wilton. You're listening to Conrad's Corner, KXSC 1560 AM and online. I am alongside the winner of the Conrad's Corner comment competition, Richard Nebens. How you doing? Not too shabby. And yourself? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm having a great time. It's good to be back in the station. Uh, thanks for coming on in. Appreciate the fact that you can make it. My pleasure. Richard made the first comment on www. Conrad's Corner, USC.com, and uh, lots of fun surveys there. And we'll be having promotions throughout the entire fall semester so we can give you the opportunity to come on in here and listen to your, not only listen, but perhaps even co-host a segment of your favorite radio show. Ow! Although this is your second favorite radio show because Richard, this is why he sounds so good on the air, he has his own show. You go to Berkeley School of Music in Boston, correct? Exactly. The Berkeley College of Music. Oh. Don't worry. Everybody says Berkeley School of Music. Technically, it's the Berkeley College, but oh, oh well. Yeah. Last Don't I checked, colleges were schools, but oh right. yeah. But but basically, yeah. I do my own radio station on uh, on Berkeley's radio station entitled the Berkeley Internet Radio Network. Um, I am unsure of a time as of now because uh, the past couple of semesters I've done this late night shift, one to three a.m. in the morning. That Conrad has been so gracious gracious to join me on. Most weeks, um, I do an all-sports radio network, Berkeley's first and only sports radio network, um, and it's entitled Total Neb's Time. Um, and when I get back in a couple of weeks, I um, hopefully I'll let Conrad know once when the show is happening, and uh, hopefully I can get you guys all to tune in, too. It is a lot of good stuff. I talk about everything from, well, NBA with even with the lockout going now. <laughs> of course, of yeah, course. Even with the lockout, I'm still talking about the NBA, NFL, especially since it's back in action, and HL, uh, baseball, um, Sports are big in Boston, so they're big. They're big in LA too, by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had an NFL team though. We can really get in the mix with all that. So Come not on, that. Magic Johnson. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, <laughs> our last segment of the day features. Uh, it's always a lot of fun. We talk about Greek news and our cuckoo crimes to contemplate. Uh, first things first. The DPS and listen to this, Richard. DPS and LAPD say that the number of alcohol-related hospital runs has spiked over the summer and in the fall semester. <laughs> what a surprise! Huh? Why does that not surprise me? Ah, I see, I see. So, by the way, there was supposed to be uh, no alcohol at any rush events whatsoever with strict DPS and LAPD surveillance and enforcement. But uh, Good luck. Yeah, that exactly happened. Uh, they, they arrested uh, quite a few folks, or at least detained them. Uh, a couple of arrests here. Five DUIs. Yeah, five. This is issued uh, the weekend of uh, August 20th and the 21st, so a couple weekends back. Wow. Pretty recent. Uh, they School hasn't even started yet. They're just revving things up, huh? Seriously. I know. The school hasn't even started yet, and there's DUI. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, eight alcohol violations, 12 improper licenses. Uh, wow. They also had a fake ID. 14 folks uh, were detained for fake ID, so they would have had alcohol. And six students detained for drinking in public. And <laughs> one pedestrian in the roadway. Now, this is going to be funny because it's on... <laughs> <laughs> this guy was caught with his okay. This guy was caught with his pants down, literally in the middle of a road. Uh, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna get to that later on. And Richard, uh, you boy, may this have that. It's gonna be fun. We're just gonna help me do a little bit of cuckoo crime in the day. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, speaking of Greek row, international students are not exactly on Greek row. <laughs> I don't know if it's a combination of their uh, their heritage, knowing that the Greek there's there's there are no sororities or fraternities outside the United States of America, so the concept right. of Greek row is fairly foreign. It's very Western. And also keep in mind that uh, international students tend to study pretty hard. So, you know, there's... Ironic that stuff. we call it Greek Row, and it's and it's only in America. Yeah, <laughs> ironic. <laughs> ironic. It's that, too. We're using all those Greek letters. Well, it kind of sounds good. You know, Kappa Alpha Theta, you know, Betas, Beta Pies, whatever. Pies, Zies, yeah, all that yeah. good stuff. So last year, okay, uh, according to uh, USC's records, 1,833 international students were at the university. Wow. Give a guess to how many students of that 1,800, pretty much, were on Greek Row. Uh, I'm going to take a bet around 900 to 1,000. How about 105? Wow. <laughs> about 105 were on Greek Row. And uh, just to give you perspective, 20% of USC's undergrads are a member of a house on Greek Row, which means about 2,600 students in all are on Greek Row. Wow. Okay, so... 
do the math, less than 4% of Greek <laughs> Row are international students. So uh, USC is global everywhere else except on Greek, Greek Row. Row. Yeah, there you have it. So Beth Saul, who is the director for sorority and fraternity leadership, says that's on the rise. And this is one of my favorite quotes of the... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, this should be great. fun. Uh, but, I mean... When you quote, you can get a quote in the Daily Trojan, you try to add something. If you ever get the privilege yeah. of being with the Daily Trojan, try to add something, you know, teach us something. She says, in response to all this, quote, we are making efforts to reach out to international students that want to go Greek, end quote. But Richie, you tell me what those efforts are. Don't! I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm not saying she's wrong. Uh, Beth Saul, she she's a former Conference Corner guest. Uh, she's awesome. Knows what she's talking about nine times out of ten. But... Elaborate. It might have been the writer's fault, that too. That doesn't give us very much at all. No, no, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. So basically, uh, she, she, I think what she means, there was a Greek info session during international <laughs> orientation that they hold. Oh, and wow. uh, yeah, Greek girls really got to get on this. And one student from Russia, his name's Alexander Silk. Sil Kin, God, these international names always get me. He's Seriously. junior from Russia. And uh, he said that he went to the Greek info session, and despite the fact that Beth Saul says a lot of Greek students are interested in it, uh, this guy, Alexander, says, quote, it wasn't particularly helpful, and uh, I think that really turns people off. Well... Well said, I suppose. So there you have it. Uh, also, keep in mind the uh, the whole thing about uh, I can't take credit for the idea that uh, you know the, the whole Greek, the actual word, like the diction of it, throws mm -hmm. people off. You know, saying, "Oh, well, I'm, I'm Indian, I'm not Greek." You know what I mean? Uh, this guy Raymond Carlos, the associate director for fraternity and sorority leadership, sort of came up with that, and also attributed to the fact that it's not that Greek students aren't interested. Or not, Greeks, yeah, perhaps like international students who are right, Greek right. and international students, period, aren't interested in becoming Greek. It's because they're just not familiar with that type of lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you said that it, basically it's only in the U.S., so I'm sure it takes at least a couple of years for them to get the whole college experience, figure out the whole Greek fraternity sorority thing. So. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. More news, uh, Greek news. Fiji, uh, otherwise known as Phi Gamma Delta, the international house on the row, received its official, well-anticipated chapter charter from their national office. Mm. Uh, they disbanded in 2000 due to financial reasons. Wink, wink. And uh, <laughs> no, it probably was Quote, financial, unquote, financial yeah. reasons. Uh, we had the president, Adam Wofford, come in. That's what he said, so we got to go with that. Right. And uh, they, were, they were resurrected back in 2009, and now it's officially no longer a colony. So a uh, fast fact, by the way, uh, that means that they can display their Greek letters as an official Fiji Very nice. uh, charter. And uh, that all they also learn more of their you know, national stuff and, and they, they get to be exposed to more exclusive rituals and things like that <laughs> no, in more ways than one. And also another fun fact. Did you know that USC has a Quidditch team? Huh? How do you like that? <laughs> oh, my God. That was actually one of the things I was reading in the Daily Trojan today. I saw that on the front page. And yeah. <laughs> hilarious. Uh, this, you see this girl playing Quidditch. I was like, ah, I guess not only is this place great academically, but magically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a Harry Potter like diehard. I, I'm... I love those books and stuff, but who doesn't? But it's really funny sometimes when I see schools with legit Quidditch teams. Absolutely, it's, absolutely, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the USC Quidditch team has uh, over the summer they had their Sunday scrimmages, so it was legit actually. And also, before we get into all this good crime stuff, I got a quote from former Conference Corner guest Vincent Vigil. It turns out mm -hmm. that USC's queer community is expanding; the rainbow is getting larger and larger. Mm -hmm. And the quote of the day is coming from Vincent Vigil. He says, quote, we're noticing more that we're, oh, we're no, I want to get this wrong because it's hilarious. We're, no, we're noticing more and more students identifying as bisexual and want to be as inclusive as possible with our programming. Well, I hear that, Richard. I guess more and more students identifying as bisexual. I guess you can't have it both ways. I guess you can. <laughs> I, I guess you really can have uh, everything that you want yeah. in life. Goodness, I love what we have. Oh, oh, good old USC. That's good. That's good. good Getting times. more inclusive. I, I, all walks of life. All walks of life here at USC. Absolutely. Diversity is beautiful. All right.